And so the legend grew of a mysterious group of enchanters who spirited children away. Some said their leader was a beautiful lady. Others said it was a tall man with red eyes. While a third party told of a youth who laughed and sang to his victims so they followed him like sheep. But one thing everyone agreed on was the name of these invisible kidnappers. They had to have a name or not be referred to at all. And talking about them, especially if you were safe and snug at home or in Jordan College, was delicious. And the name that seemed to settle on them without anyone's knowing why was The Gobblers. Well, don't stay out too late or the Gobblers will get you. My cousin's in Northampton. She knows a woman whose little boy was took by Gobblers. The Gobblers have been in Stratford. They say they're coming south. And inevitably, let's play kids and Gobblers. So said Lyra to Roger, the kitchen boy from Jordan College. He would have followed her to the end of the earth. How do you play that? You hide and I find you and slice you open like the gobblers do. You don't know that's what they do. They might not do that at all. You're afraid of them, she said. I can tell. I ain't. I don't believe them in any way. I do, she said decisively. But I'm not afraid either. I'll just do what my uncle did last time he came to Jordan. I saw him. He was in the retiring room and there was this guest who wasn't polite. And my uncle just gave him a long, hard look and the man fell dead on the spot with all foam and froth round his mouth. Roger was less sure about this than he was about the gobblers. But the story was too good to waste. So they took it in turn to be Lord Azrael and the expiring guest using sherbet dip for foam.